in 2014, whenever Bobby Bones' co-host were trying to set you two up, he was like, we shouldn't because it could be trouble for artist for me to date an artist. Absolutely. He predicted this. You know, we've been best friends for a long time, and a, a little over a year ago, we were like, I mean, we were both scared about publicly saying we were dating because it, we knew that it was a sensitive thing. But eventually, you know, I reached the point where I was like, you know what? Country music is a beautiful industry because they embrace humans being humans and they embrace artists being able to have a, a personal life mm -hmm. you know and and don't let it come in the way of of their career or their goals or their business and so I just got to the point where I was like you know what I want to be honest with my fans and let them know that how I'm feeling and what my songs are about and, yeah. and just be real with them and in hopes that it wouldn't affect my career and now both you and Bobby. Well, Bobby has reported that he knows that programmers have told him that they're not playing your music because of your relationship with Bobby, correct? Yeah, before um, before this happened this weekend, there, there has been stations that said they didn't want to play my music because I was dating Bobby. And look, I get it. I get in a competitive, really? I get in a I competitive get situation that it's a sensitive topic. However, I really feel that as an artist, male or female, your personal life shouldn't affect what you do. I get that it's a sensitive situation, and in so, I am very careful about pictures that I post, about dialogue on social media. Like, we walk red carpet separately. Like, I, I do my best to make sure that I'm not flaunting our relationship so that in a competitive market, they, they don't need to worry about fans you know, falling in love with my music, checking me out on social media, and then figuring out about the other morning show across the street, which have been comments I've gotten before. So I've been very careful about that. So are you worried about fan people thinking, oh, she just got on radio because she's dating Bobby Bones? Or are you worried about maybe Bobby Bones' ratings going up because he's dating Lindsay O? You know, I look up to Bobby and how talented and amazing he is. Of course, I'm his girlfriend, so I'm the most biased one you could ask. Yeah. But, but Bobby's business is Bobby's business. Mm -hmm. All I can worry about is me. And I work yeah. so hard as an artist. I care so much about making music that I have fallen in love with and I want to have fans here and I want them to fall in love with it. And so I've been doing this ever since I was a little girl. You know, yeah. I've been playing guitar ever since I was eight years old. And so I just don't think that anything in an artist's personal life should come in the way of that. I'm 100% agreeance with you. I, I used to work in country radio. This baffles <laughs> me beyond belief. I don't understand the big deal. I don't mm -hmm. understand the big hype. I don't see what's wrong with you dating a country radio <laughs> DJ. I would think that that'd be an amazing thing. Someone who gets you, gets what you're going through. Right. Um, when do you think will be a time that you and Bobby can walk the red carpets together, can take those social media pics and not worry about it? Do you feel like maybe this concert in the long run could have a blessing in a couple ways? Because you know what? It's out there. Everybody knows. Screw it. Absolutely. I, I honestly think that in the future, hopefully this has helped a little bit of the situation and just even air light to the fact that whatever happens in your personal life shouldn't affect, you know, people judging my music, you mm -hmm. know, they're just separate things. And so I hope, I mean, I don't even know as a time, time factor how long that could be, but I hope in a couple years, surely, a year mm -hmm. that we can, we can walk a red carpet holding each other's hands.